started. I wonder how many people will think, oh my god, he's playing Fable. Well, <laughs> this is a different Fable. Different Fable indeed. Make sure everything's getting started. This is uh, from 1996. This game failed miserably when it came out. Very miserably, as far as I know. But it has a little bit of a following now, where you play as Quickthorpe. And you are here to become a hero of sorts. So, that is the game for this evening. And I'll play it till I beat it. Uh, not necessarily today, but, you know, we will get to it. I need to get my stuff up, make sure we're good to go real quick before I move on. Just taking... Okay, we're good to go. Now I'm gonna turn mine down a little bit. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get moving. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up to where I can see the chat here. Okay, we're good to go on that. I thought about trying something different, but like I said, I want to wait until we get a few more people coming in before I put the chat up. Alright, so, you can't use your mouse here, but let's check the introduction. So we're going to start in out here with the prologue. Land, in a world lost to the mystery and wonders of strange beings and magical creatures, came the dawn of evil, deception, and betrayal. The Mecubars were a race of astral beings like luminous orbs who had come to the world of Balkane to create a civilization filled with beauty, wisdom, and absolute power to rule and control all the worlds with a sacred knowledge in all the hidden mysteries of the Ancient Ones. It was on this dark winter night that four conspirators were condemned to rule the destiny and eternal damnation of the people of Balkay. If I remember the legend correctly, there was a young priest in the cult of Mechibars. Ishmael was the only one to really know the secret to the great powers of them. Driven we gotta get our exposition here before we get Ishmael. started. Set out to I'm going to put Fable, and I'm going to piss a lot of people off because it's would radically change not what it is. It's an apparently simple course in Balkanian history. To deceive the Mechibars was one thing, and in its measure, a very noble course for the Balkanians. But to betray your own people is quite another. But welcome to the party, folks. Those Perhaps of you that are the here. conspirators had overestimated their strength. They had certainly underestimated the vigilance of the Mechibars. The consequences of their failure was critical, and the retribution of the Mechibars was cruel and harsh. The Sorry. most fateful consequence was the unleashing of the violent anger of the Mechibars, causing severe cataclysms. The well, that's not good when we have severe cataclysm. But in each would rain this narrator sounds like he's not having the best of time. Water and fire. I just don't know. The four conspirators were sentenced to exile in the four different lands, where they would rule as beastly demigods to assure the eternal damnation and terror on the hopeless people of Balkane. Oh boy, eternal damnation. That doesn't work Ishmael real well. Ishmael was the only one to escape the wrath of the Mechubas. His whereabouts to this day are unknown. Interesting. The adventure in which you are about to participate is the story of a young hero named Quickthorpe, who unknowingly sets out on a journey into a weird world, born out of the mind of one very sick man. Oh. It is a fable in one way, but in a trick of the tale, it's a strange trip through the lost world of Balkane. Ah, oh, here we come to our little town we start out at. I like the intro. Uh, I hope you don't mind that I'm not hasn't talked too much over it. Uh, 
Okay, now, let's go to our new game. So, this is it, is it? I'm afraid it's true, Quickthorpe, and I'm sad to see you go. Well, now, of course, we have ways of talking here. So we have, I don't think there's been some mistake. I think we should probably ask what we're supposed Sound to do. Sound great, but what am I supposed to do? The village has chosen you, Quickthorpe, to go out to the far reaches of these cursed lands and seek out the four beasts who are guarding the lost jewels of Balkane. Oh. These jewels are the key to the future of our people. Once you have destroyed these beasts and recovered the jewels, our village will be free from their tyranny. Well, let's see, do you have any last-minute words of advice? Do you have any last words of advice? Everyone has given you their blessings. As for myself, the talisman I now give you is not only a good luck charm, it will also protect you from spirits and other evil entities during your quest. Awesome! We got ourselves an amulet. How do I know how to find I know these things? To find these jewels? You, you just kind of threw me out about here. The ice giant who is ruling the frozen lands just outside the walls of our village. We are pretty sure that he's got the emerald. We're not 100% sure, but we're pretty sure that you might be able to find it here. There is no doubt in my mind. That concerns me. Out there, one for each beast, and one beast in each land. I don't know what these jewels look like. But I don't know what these jewels look like. You haven't given me any information. There are four jewels. Each contains a special power which control the essential life forces of Vulcane. The emerald contains the power of fertility and spring. You should recognize it by its beautiful green color. The diamond, well, we all know what a diamond looks like. It represents <laughs> eternity, apart from being a girl's best friend. Anyway, oh. the diamond is said to hold the power of diamonds mist and rain. Are a girl's the sapphire best is a deep friend, dark blue jewel, but... containing the power of the water. Legend says that an ugly gorgon is keeping it at the bottom of the Not sea. Not an ugly gorgon. The red ruby, which contains the power of fire and shadows. They're all out there somewhere. Now it's up to you to bring them back to me. You don't think there's been some mistake about me being chosen, do you? You don't think there's been some mistake, do you? I've been asking myself the same question. Oh. The fact of the matter is that all the other village people are either too busy or just not interested. <laughs> if you Nobody are, gives a remember shit. remember at all times to keep your mind pure and your heart true, I believe you will succeed. I must succeed. I've had enough of this chit-chat. I'm going now. Give them hell, Quickthorpe. <laughs> I love that. Give them hell. Let's see here. I got to remember... Okay, you click on yourself. We want the dialogue text on. Game speed can go a little faster. Okay. I got his waving goodbye. The village elder is the most respected man in Belkir. He's all in one. High priest, chief alchemist, and a pretty handy wagon mechanic. <laughs> I'm glad to know that he's a good, um, mechanic. I don't think that's going to do us any good. Uh, let's look here. It really is such a sad, pathetic-looking tree. But then it has been dead for hundreds of years. That could be why. That could be why, indeed. Let's take a look at the village. Quickthorpe's village is the only truly civilized habitation on Balcane. He has spent all of his young life within these walls, where true heroes are few, and courage a rare resource. Wondrous. Gosh, it's really pretty out here. I wonder what it looked like in the old days when all this was covered with grass. Probably very... green. <laughs> really? You have any last minute words to feel funny going out there dressed like this? I'd like to thank my manager and producer for making I'd all like this to thank possible. My manager and producer for making all of this possible. Ha 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 ha. Crazy kid, you better save it for later. Now go on, get out of here. Okay. Use the bridge. Here's and get that bridge I thought I'd never be crossing. That is beyond the range of Quickthorpe's natural abilities. Can we walk to the bridge? Across the bridge. Okay, so we've got the frozen lake, the well, 
Edge of the Forest. Kind of got a little map, which is different for an adventure game, I would say. But let's see here. Where's the old house? Let's see here. Hmm. If I can remember where to go right off the bat. Oh, up here. Oh, hi. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Are you back so soon? Uh, no, I was Why supposed don't to go. You come up to my room. It's so warm and cozy. Alas, my little sparrow, the destiny of our people is resting in my hands. I like the way we have a clearly large-breasted lady and as our soft girlfriend. Through my aching heart, I cannot, I must not be distracted. I cannot have sex. Oh well, suit yourself, you little worm. Oh lord. Gosh, it's really pretty out. Hush. I'm supposed to be going to the old house. Oh well, I guess I got to go that way. That's why it didn't let me. The foothills. It is. I need to go this way. <laughs> right off the bat, massive failure. Okay, let's go up here. Hi, Hunter. Good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, young squirt. Uh, Jesus, I love those effects on the water. I don't mean to alarm you, but haven't you strayed a bit far from Mummy and Daddy? Yes, very far. I haven't gotten very well, far I yet. I haven't gotten very far yet. Where are you off to, if you don't mind me asking? For starters, I'm off to waste the ice giant uh, and get back the emerald. Then I'll be heading out to some new lands for adventure. You know, going to new places, meeting interesting people, and then killing them. Sweet. <laughs> Let's kill things. I guess I won't be home for lunch. You probably won't be. It just so happens that as a hunter, I get about these lands quite a bit. And I must say, you've got your work cut out for you. Gee, thanks. I'm glad you're such a nice... Helpful hunter. This country's no cakewalk, and with all the hoodlums and freaks out there, you're going to attract a lot of attention, especially dressed like that. <laughs> I'll just have to take my chances. And as for dress sense, I can see Armani isn't your middle name. Oh my God! <laughs> I guess we both Armani, really? However, I have a weapon. Yes, you do have a weapon. Let's take let's strip down to our skivvies. Let's strip down to our skivvies and take a swim. Oh my god. I wanna get killed. Oh I forgot, I can't swim. Of course You're you can't. Crazy. It's a good way to catch pneumonia and a one way ticket to Casket Town. Is Casket Town a nice place? I hope it is. It's been great talking. Have a nice day. Okay, well, let's go to the house. <laughs> yeah, uh, a good thing it didn't go, Grab, watch out! Because we'd have been dead. Okay, the old house. Ooh, chili peppers. It's amazing that chili peppers can even grow in this climate. I, uh, I would be surprised. A lantern is hanging from the porch of the old house. Can we take it? Quickthorpe takes the lantern without even asking. As he should have. This old house looks spooky. It's a cat! Yuck! I hate Aww, cats! Oh, it's a cute cat. Yikes, I take that back. This cat's got evil eyes and a third one on its back. Whoops, that's not an eye. There aren't many chili peppers left on this tree. What? What do you mean it's not... These are my chili peppers now. <laughs> Good. I hope no one mistakes me for a burglar. Well, we'll find out. Wow, it's like a dungeon down here. Oh my. Oh, it's a rope. There's a neatly coiled piece of rope on the ground. Mine now. This could come in handy in the future. I agree, it could. And that's why we're taking it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hmm. 
This is an interesting object. What is it? Uh, I don't know. That's why I looked at it. This is an interesting object. What is it? I don't we're suppose gonna... anybody will notice that you've taken it. And we're going to put it in her pants. There's nothing else there but junk. There's nothing else there but junk. Well, well, what have we here? Well, well, what have we here? It looks like a bunch of old useless junk. Are you sure that it's useless old junk? I mean, are you really sure? Hmm. Oh, well. The stack. The staircase. No, well, uh, eh. That must be how I get into the house. Quick thought is not scared. Oh, us. shit. But he's going to have a hard time getting into the old house. Uh, let's look at the ghost. A ghost has emerged from the cat, scaring the crap out of Quickthorpe. It came out of the cat? <laughs> Meow! Ah, it's a ghost! <laughs> I bet we have something. It's the talisman that the village elder has given you. I don't think that's a good idea. There we go. And it's dead. Oh the my. Old woman's name oh is god. Walker. She's known to have certain powers. Are you okay? My name's Quipthorpe. Now I'm off to kill the ice my giant. My name is Quipthorpe and I'm off to kill the ice giant. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are, Mr. Big Hero. Oh, everybody hates us. Good lord, are we like an ass or something? You know you'll never succeed in finding those jewels. Yes, I will. How do you know these things? Yeah. It's my job to know these things. It's what I do. Mmm. You see, to some people, I'm a witch. But to others, I'm a fortune teller and a healer. She's a witch! Tell How do you know she's a witch? What am I to you? Well, uh, can I throw little pebbles in the lake and see if you float and all that good jazz? Are you like bread? Do you float? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I believe there's good and bad side I mean, to everyone. There's good and a bad side to everyone. Yours is your back, I think. Oh! You are a smart boy. Why don't you stay with me a while and I'll teach you some special magic. That was a pretty good burn. Maybe a card trick or two. Those are boring. Can you tell me how to kill it? I'd rather kiss your cat's third eye. Can you tell me how to kill the ice giant? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. But I will let you keep all the things you've stolen from me. I didn't steal anything, maybe. Hmm, it looks like a potpourri of leaves. Quickthorpe has no use for that oh, right now. Cripes, this place is crawling with cats. That explains the aroma. Stay away from my kitty cat. No one is to touch my kitties. Oh, but I want to take it and put it in my pants. That's all oh, she's got cats it's there, too. Bird seeds. That is beyond the range. Quickthorpe. Takes the bag of seeds. Why do you live out here? Why do you live alone out here in the frozen lands? Because out here there's no one to bother me. Except for lost children like you. I'm not lost. I know where to go. Speaking of lost children, what are you cooking in the pot? <laughs> and my recipes are a secret. But I always have a pot boiling in case someone unexpected comes by for dinner. I see you are such a frail child. Why don't you rest here a while so Welda can put some meat on those bones? Uh, you're not fattening me up for sex. After all, it's not happening. You lots of strength if you want to kill the ice giant. I bet. That's terribly kind of you, but no thanks. That's terribly kind of you, but no thanks. I think then we have nothing left to say to one another. Sounds like we don't. Let's see. Save the game. There's we go. Okay, let's get out of the house. This game has a lot of humor, and that is good. This old house looks spooky. 
Like there aren't many chili peppers left on this tree. There's actually none because we sold them all. There's a doorbell I can ring to see if anyone's home. I really shouldn't take somebody's doorbell. There doesn't appear to be anyone home. Lies. She's there. These hideous wooden dragon's heads were once used as bow rams on old Balkanian cargo ships. Hmm. <laughs> there aren't many chili peppers left. There aren't many chili peppers. There aren't many chili peppers left on that tree. Did you know that? Did you know there are not many chili peppers left on that tree? I don't think there's very many chili peppers on this tree. But let's go to the lake. Oh look, the guy's gone. How convenient. <laughs> oh. Uh, can I not? Game. Game. No. <laughs> That's hilarious. So you can die in this game. Good to know. I wasn't sure if you could or not. Oh, it's fun. It is so fun. Anyways. Well, let's take the not death way. And go back to the village. And then... Let's go to the frozen lake. Hey, look, it's our house. Hey, look, we're leaving. Bye. I like how they close the gate and you can't come back. Hey, man, what's up? It looks just like the ones I've seen in picture books. I'll bet it was a really nice boat in its day. The lake is frozen to death. <laughs> there aren't even any fish left. Oh, no fish. It looks just like the, it looks just like the ones I've seen. A piece of rope still remains tied to a pole that was once used to secure the boats to the shore. Let's see. Let's look at the chair in the boat. The large chair with a fluffy rolled pillow looks like it might have seated <laughs> a fat bottom princess. Fat bottom girls will make the world go round. It'd be a nice place to relax and get a tan. But I don't take the sun very well and I've got a lot to do. <laughs> you puss. I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really need. I'd rather save the pockets back. Oh God! Oh, hello. My dear child, you have been ah. from this terrible prison. How? What did I do? I've been waiting for you for so long, and now that you're here, well, I'm not at all disappointed. <laughs> you're not? Okay. What are you? What kind of creature are you? Yes, explain yourself. I'm Simbri, the goddess of the lake. And the spirit of spring, all wrapped up into one hot little package. <laughs> one hot little package, huh? You're the first spirit I've ever met. In person, that is. <laughs> is that why you're green and transparent and glowing all over? Maybe. Or have you recently visited Chernobyl? Oh my god! I hope None not. Of this is really important right now. <laughs> I don't even know what Chernobyl is. You see, Chernobyl, folks, those of you that are young, <clears throat> you see, uh, really that was a nuclear explosion in a Russian uh, uh, power plant. It was bad. That sounds like a good deal to me. What do you propose to do? What to do? That's a very good question. The problem is that I haven't a clue. Interesting. I've got it. Take a small piece of my spirit, like in a little orb. I don't know if I have a little orb. That way I can come along with you. Oh, oh. I'm so excited. Oh boy. Great. Let's go. Not so fast, you eager beaver. <laughs> beaver. Remember, this piece of me is only alone, so you'll have to bring it back. Don't stroke my beaver. You can't expect me to always have my parts scattered all over. I'm sure you can. Let's get naked and take a swim in the lake. You first. Let's get naked and take a swim in the lake. You first. Ooh, sexy. You know I'd love to. It would be just the thing to wake me up after this long sleep. I bet it would. But there is no time to waste. Your people are waiting on you. And frankly, so am I. I don't know how many boobies we'd really see out of something omnipresent like that. I've had enough of talking to spirits for one day. <laughs> Quickthorpe cannot you Quickthorpe. Take the orb. Inventory. Let's see. 
You're not getting any special favors that way. You're not getting any special Is she favors. In it already? The rope you took from the cellar of Welder's house. I don't think that's a good. That doesn't. I don't think that's a good idea. Hush. That doesn't do anything. There we go. It's the spirit of Cymbeline. Okay, good. She's with us. I was just making, trying to make sure. Okay. Uh, that's where I want to go. Edge of the forest. Oh, nothing says. I don't even remember. Hey, hey, you. What's Tell happening? Me, sir, what are you doing here? I can tell from your smile that you're new to the forest edge. <laughs> or should we be frowning? If you wish to enter or go anywhere from here except back to where you came from, it's going to cost you. Why? Personal belongings, valuable objects will do just fine. So you're a dick. I presume that you are carrying something valuable. I've got loads of stuff in my pockets. <laughs> Neat duds. I mean, you are rather dressed. Neat duds? I mean... You are rather well dressed, sir. Sharp dressed I, I men. Can afford to be. Now let me see <laughs> what you have that may be of interest to me. Well, I have loads of stuff oh, sure, in my pockets. Sure, I've got loads of stuff in my pockets. Yep. Then would you be so kind as to hand over your most precious piece? Would you accept an IOU payable <laughs> on my return? I take payment in advance, and that's non-negotiable. I wonder if he could kill us. I would be afraid to think he probably could. However, Whoop. I do thank you for calling to my attention your possible return, dubious as that may be. Lovely. Okay, good. Making sure that was working. It so happens that some unpleasant little creature made off with a beautiful necklace, which I hold dearly. Interesting. If you should ever find this item and return it to me, I would be happy to work out some exchange in your favor. Well, that's nice of After you. After all, I may be a thief, but I am foremost a gentleman. A gentleman thief? Trilby? Locke? Sorry, I'm flat broke. Locke would be come back preferred to be time. called a treasure hunter. By all means, as you wish. I am a man of leisure, and I have all the time you need. Uh-huh. Well, we do have the statuette. I admire your enthusiasm, young man. But you have only to pay the toll if you wish to pass me. Well, that's really what we're wanting to do. But I guess I don't have to yet. Hmm. Let's go this way. Hold on there, Fast Freddy. No place special, I'm just doing it. The forest is a danger. Thanks for your... I, I just tried to give it to him. It is the precious gold statuette found in the cellar. I admire your enthusiasm, young man. But you have only to pay the toll me. So here I am at the edge of the forest. Do I go in and face the dark unknown like a real man? Or do I skirt... We can play this game all day if you like. I've got all the time you need. What in the world did he do? Did you see it? It was like, meh. We can play this. We can play this all day. This is just to show what a close-up of a forest path looks like. Why, thank you. We can play this game. So, we can play. I need to give him the thing then. Such a with all you can talk. You just sit there and steal from honest people like me or anyone else that passes by. You would assume I'd be giving him the nice statue. Mm, I suppose some people never do get the big picture. No, that's life, I guess. But what can you do, except to sit back and take anything and everything that comes your way? There is nothing to do, except to be so kind as to pay me the toll for passage. You know the rules. I... tried. It is the precious... I don't think that's a good idea. I admire your... En I admire... I admire your enthusiasm, young man. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good... I don't think that's a good idea. 
I admire your enthusiasm, hmm. young man. Well, you need to pay the I don't know what to, to do because I'm supposed to give him the statue. And it doesn't want me to give him the statue, even though I'm supposed to give him the statue. So, interesting here. I'm not real sure why it's not letting me do what I need to do. The cat just knocked something off in the kitchen. Lovely. So glad that she did that. Oh, and she made a mess, too. Oh, lovely. I just want to give you my I don't see anything else. I don't think that's a good idea. Such a pleasure to see with all the... You can talk. That's like... So here I am, All so here I, I am. All I want to do is give him the thing so I can move on. And it doesn't want me to take this. I admire your enthusiasm. I, admire I want your... to pass by you. That's the whole thing. Oh my god, this is annoying as hell. We can play. We can play this game. Now give him this. It is the precious gold statuette found in give. the I admire your Give. I don't think that. I don't think. I don't think that's a good idea. This is just to show what a close-up of a forest path looks like. Use the statuette with the chop wood. It does not seem we to want me to game. do what I need to do, though, that's for sure. And I know that's what I'm supposed to do, and it will not let me. So I'm not real sure what I'm supposed to do. Because I can't do anything. I'm supposed to go there. And it is not letting me do so. I have no clue why. I have no idea why it won't let me do what I'm supposed to do. Uh, this is not like a Laura Bow game where you, you know, occasionally the game will work right and occasionally it won't. But, um, it's hard to say why it's not letting me do what I need to do. So it's hard to say. I'm trying to think exactly maybe what it... If I've missed something that I don't think I have, because what I need to do is go into here, which I can't do, because it we won't let me. Yeah, I mean, it, we can play this. It really won't let me. I admire your enthusiasm. Hi. But you have only to pay the toll if you wish to. I admire your enthusiasm, young man. But you have only to pay the. I don't think that's a good idea. It's the spirit of Cymbeline. I don't think that's a good idea. It is the precious gold. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I think it is. I don't think that's a good idea. I admire your I admire your I admire your I admire your enthusiasm young I man. need to pass you, you. We can play this game all day if you like I've got all the time you need I bet you do so fuck you because I'm even looking stuff up now because of it and they all say the same thing give him the statue and it will let you pass Use the statue with the road. I don't think that's a I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's Take it. I admire your enthusiasm, young man. But you have only to such a pleasure with all you can talk. Mm. That's life I guess, but what can you do? There is I admire your enthusiasm, young man. <laughs> I admire your I admire your enthusiasm. Take it! Young man. I don't trust the look of this guy at all. Take what you're supposed I don't to think take! That's a good idea. Why won't you do what you're supposed to do? Oh my god!
This makes games not fun really fast. Enough to the point to where I might just not let's play this. It's how mad it's making me. I am literally infuriated. I'll be right back. I'm going to make cut this episode here and then I'm going to... Okay, so what I did... Um, use, and then if you right click, give. Yes, this is quite a wrench. <laughs> It'll do just fine. I, I wish you a pleasant day. Fuck. I was born every minute. Mm -hmm. So now that really kind of... Put a damper on everything. So here I am at the edge of the forest. Do I go in and face the dark unknown like a real man? Or do I skirt around like a sissy? I would prefer hmm. you to skate Sometimes around like... the question just answers itself. ...like a sissy, but, um... We got things to do, so let's go. Still cannot believe... ...that that's what happened. Just didn't right-click. Oh, okay, so... Hey crow, what's up? I don't up? feel like talking to anyone or anything right now. Well, good for Frank you. Frank always expect to find a bird loitering around the statues in the park. You're kind of a jerk. This is very interesting. The statue of a soldier in his final battle stands frozen in time. The statue of a soldier in his final battle stands frozen in time. A statue of a fallen soldier wounded from battle. Doesn't look like it was real fun. I knew you should stuff you. Oh, look at the thing sticking out of the ground. Something seems to be buried here under the snow. I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really need. Oh, okay. What if you do need it? I'll be darned, it's an old rusty shield from one of these soldiers. Well, but now you want it. Wow, this shield is heavy. Uh, normally they tend to be there, Quickthorpe. Normally they, you know, I know you're like scrawny and dead here, but... Trust me, uh, shields are normally, oh, Jesus God, what is that? What have we come across? An old rim is sitting on a tree stump by a clearing in the forest. You're an odd-looking sort. You're an odd-looking sort of fellow. Oh my god, the voice. Oh my god, the voice. Oh my god, the voice. After all, <laughs> oh. Oh. You're terrible. So tell me something I don't know. <laughs> Did you know that you're so close to the place? Where all fruits of all dreams come to bear. No, I don't. And this is nothing but a mere illusion of beauty. Wonderful. Did you know that you're nothing other than the seeker of a dream? Sure, why not? And that a dream... Okay, I just unplugged my sound. Fan-fucking-tastic. <sighs> Can't find it. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Did I lose my sound because of that? Oh, God. This has been a good day so far. Okay, screw this piece of shit. Okay. Yes, that is a really weird tree. We do have... Oh, actually, hollow A. Well, let's get in our inventory. It is.
I think it's a great idea. Well, yeah. That, good point. Well, let's use it. Okay. Now let's use them. Or don't. I thought we were supposed to. Hmm. Actually, it probably would make C... That's because it should be on the magpie. Aha, there's the necklace. Yoink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to that dude. And give him his necklace back. Okay. Hey, man, what is it? I have your shit. So. You never think anything's a good idea, Quick Thorpe. But that's okay. No. I'm never going to blow you or anyone else around here. Why, thank you. I needed gloves for something. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. <laughs> That's a very important thing. Of course, he has no pants, so his penis has probably frozen up and fallen off. Just going, ding, donk. Mm hmm. I don't believe you. So let's get a walking. We need to go back now that we have gloves. Go back here. Go up there. and enter here oh fun <laughs> well let's take it Well, or you could die. Either one. There are things looking at us. Yep, we're good. Welcome, welcome back. I know I left. <laughs> I had to do a little bit of a change we already looked at that well since they said not to wear the ring I think it's a perfect time to wear the ring so let's do that oh well that was quick <laughs> Quickthorpe. Hey, hey, Quickthorpe. No, I don't want to save the game over a death. I always wonder why it does that. Of course I don't want to. 
Alright, no, I don't want to take them. I don't see the point either. I didn't want to do that. Alright, now that we've died and everything else and gotten ourselves a ring, let's head over to the well that was up this way. Okay, where did the well go? There's the well. See you at the crossroads. <laughs> well, good question. Let's see where this leads. Well, that led to... Oh, look, it's the hunter again. And it's a rabbit. It is. That's a dead one. Is there any water left? Can you help me? I don't know anything. Sorry, I'm scratching my head. What? Okay. Well, it looks like you succeeded. Ah, uh, you killed him. He's pretty dead. So, let's get in our inventory. If you've ever played older adventure games, it tends to be a good idea to have rope for wells. It is dark. The, the animation for this really reminds me of Space Quest 6. I mean, a lot like Space Quest 6. This is not reassuring down here. Piece of grass. Oh boy. That's probably something new for him. Ooh, there's a small pile of dirt. Well, let's keep looking. Well, let's take the strange marked tablet. I agree. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Well, ooh, there's another pile of dirt. Let's take a look at that. Let's be taking that. Oh. Hi there. <laughs> oh, okay. Not too much really here. Well, then we can't do much with that yet. We definitely do not have the key. So, let's see. We need to get in the inventory. Use. There we go. Put that together. Take that.
And then let's get out of here. You don't want to take it again? Well, I guess we're going to be leaving it. Okay. Anyways, that's about all there is there. So let's go to the crossing. Ooh, it's a bushy path. I feel like this might be a good time to do that. Personally. Oh, hi there. Okay, well, I don't want killed. I guess he's gonna... <laughs> That's the best way to close a rock. Use your ass. Great. Hmm. There is another way in. Some oh there it is, small hole. Since Quickthorpe is so small, of course then we can get back in here. <laughs> Surprise! Just thought that would be kind of kind of cool to show you both ways to do it. Ooh, it's a pillow. Ooh, it's a pillow. Mmm, piece of candy. Sure is. <laughs> he hit his keys in his pillow. He probably will, and that's probably a lie, and I bet you this key is for this chest. Well, let's examine the flask. We can steal things now. Okay, well, we got what we needed. Now we can walk back out the same way we came in and save ourselves a lot of trouble. Fireworks on the 6th of July are not the same, in my opinion, as fireworks on the 4th of July. Oh, God! Hey, now. I am a brave chap. I didn't even pee my pants. Oh, my God. It's a horrible voice actor. It's like me trying to be Irish yesterday. Oh, boy. Okay. Shut up. I actually have some intelligence. I don't want your PPs anywhere near my bungholes, so let's just not. I know what you want, and you're not getting it. I'm on my way to kill the ice giant. <laughs> uh. I wasn't kidding. I don't have any money. However, remember the ring that killed us? <laughs> yep, let's get into our inventory.
take the ring and give the ring. And you're dead. <laughs> oh! Take the dead bandit. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't wait to stab it in things. <laughs> when you squeeze me, bad people go away. <laughs> oh god. That was a good family guy quote a long time ago. Wait a minute, God, that wasn't Family Guy. That was The Simpsons. That was the gun episode when Homer got the gun and March got all upset, and that was the video they watched. I can't believe I thought that was Family Guy. Ugh, God. Simpsons, when it was good. Oh, I miss it. Hmm. Well, we killed him. Let's see. Let's take... Let's examine that. <laughs> well, he doesn't need it now. Take the dead bandit. Okay, well, he's dead, so whatever. Ooh, stone heads. <laughs> okay. Now, that tablet we got, that opens up the way. Well, I don't know how mighty quick Thorpe is, but he got through. I'm not sure if I have everything. I feel like I'm missing something. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll find out. Oh boy. Maybe. <laughs> or three. Well, all I have is not stuff that would work on him, so we're missing something from somewhere. You've got to be able to melt him, and, I mean, we have the oil flask, which would work great on him, but we don't really have anything else yet to kill him. And I'm not sure where I missed it from, because I know that we need something to burn him with. I'm trying to figure out exactly where it is. Oh dear. Hmm. I don't really see anything here that I can add to it, and I'm pretty sure I probably cannot give him chili peppers to melt him. I'm sure that won't work. I'm almost 100% sure that won't work. So, hmm. Oh, the lantern was broken. I didn't even notice. Yeah, but that's not what I need. Oh, my cat just scared the crap out of me. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, 
this is going to be the end of this scene because I've got to make a phone call. I'll be right back, guys. i got a phone coming in. Phone call. Boss. I don't see anything else of interest. And I think I know what to do. And I know I missed some stuff back at the witch. There's another part of this ravine that we can get to from somewhere. And that's... I went ahead and kind of walked around this while I was on the phone. <laughs> But I'm not sure how to get there. Well, for now, I need to go back to there. Hey, dead guy. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, I'm going to do probably one more part of this today. It's not going to really let me go that way. Um, I'm probably going to play another half hour. Probably go... May go a little long. May go 40 minutes. Depending... I wanted to at least get, um, that's so cool with the bunny. Um, I wanted to at least get to, through the first gym or whatever today, is the goal of this, uh, stream. Paul just quit happened to leave and whatnot, I'm glad this time the person didn't leave that had left before, so I'm relieved on that. I think this is going to be more of a, me use this for the let's play than the stream. I don't think anybody even knows this game hmm, to looks like, hmm, looks like there's a couple of stones. Wanna to look at it, but um Hmm, looks like there's a couple of stones across, sticking out of the for. water. So I'm sure this game, like most people aren't going to be actively looking for it on Twitch. But I thought, you know, I'm gonna play the game. It would be in my best interest to just go ahead and stream why I did it, and that then is people not come on my this old house looks this old house looks spooky. Just gonna be all better for me. From the smell in here, I how does the saying go? Curiosity killed the cat? How does the saying go? Curiosity killed the cat? How does the saying go? Cur I don't see any point in taking that. Quick thought, cannot you I'll bet these books are on black magic and devil worship. A closer look reveals nothing more of it. A closer look reveals nothing more of it. The old hag doesn't seem to mind me taking this book. I'm afraid those books would just get me into serious trouble. From the smell in here, I'd say... How does the saying go? Curio... Welda keeps her essential cooking ingredients handy by the fireplace. I see she goes for powdered toenails and expensive cognac. I would go for ex uh, expensive cognac as well. I don't know what she's talking about. Quite personally. I would love some. What about you? <laughs> oh, I think that's pretty darn funny. <laughs> that she actually has... Mm, it looks like a potpourri of leaves. Quickthorpe takes the... Okay, we have everything now. So, I didn't get everything. I'm stupid. So now we're going to try to find our way back to... the ravine... And find what we need to destroy that guy. Because I know what it is. I just have to figure out how to get back to it. <laughs> the cat has joined us. She's sitting on the couch beside me. Just like, I love you. Go, Quickthorpe. Your name is Quickthorpe, and you are not very quick. You're Slowthorpe. Okay. Ever since I switched to my computer and my my better computer, everything has run a lot better. I'll say that much. See ya there, sharp dressed man. Okay. Do 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 do. Hey, dead guy. What is that? I don't know what it's supposed to I wonder if, like, the, um, manual has, like, translations for some of this stuff. Now, supposedly... His face got smurfed. <laughs> oh, Lord, not smurfed. There we go. Top of the ravine. That's where we gotta go. Hey, kitty. 
Man, there are a lot of dead people in this game. This guy must have frozen to death. It makes me shiver just looking at him. A sulfur stick? It's too bad he didn't make a fire. It might have saved his life. Yeah, we need it though, so... Let's take it. He won't be needing this anymore. No, he's pretty dead. <laughs> Use the frozen There's carcass. There's nothing one can do with a dead guy. Uh, you can do horrible things with it. The spires of an enchanted castle can be seen in the distance. So we've taken care of that. Now let's head back this way where the guy was. <laughs> that he just let us live. He could have just let us... <laughs> there he is. He's still there. He must be the ice giant. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? I don't feel like talking to anyone or anything right now. Because you're moody. Very moody. Quickthorpe is right. He is now standing face to face, or nearly so, with Coris, the abominable ice giant. Oh no, the ice giant. Well... Here's what we gotta do. Take that. I don't think that's a good idea. Take the flask with the silver that stick. That doesn't do anything. Or not. I don't think that's a good idea. That doesn't do anything. That's what you're supposed to do. In a way. Actually, I got a better idea. I bet you gotta throw it on him. You poured oil on me, you idiot! I hate oil! Good, I'm glad you it's do. It's the sulfur stick you took. I don't think that's a good <laughs> idea. You took it from the dead guy. And he's melted. Yay! Ice giant dead. <laughs> Let's save. That'd probably be a great place to do that. Dead ice giant. Several arches lie hidden in the shadows of the palace arcades. Okay, let's go on in. There's a laser and a bird. That's a nice looking bird. Can I talk to you? Any ideas on how to get past the laser beam? Can you talk? I suppose you've got to either turn it off or deflect it somehow. It does talk. It's a talking bird. Hooray. I love talking birds. Okay. So, in this case, <clears throat> we have a shield. We have a scarf. I don't think that's a good I, I don't think that's a good idea. Ah, uh, you never do. Now, use the scarf. Now it's all nice and shiny. You can't believe it. All that it you can't believe it. All that it needed was a little cleaning and polishing. Now it's so bright, you can see yourself. And we reflected our way through, so that worked. I like how they have laser beams in medieval whatever this place is. I guess it's got some sci-fi to it. Okay. That emerald. There she is, just for the taking. One down, three to go. It's the emerald we took from the ice giant. Keep it safely with you at all times. Hooray, we've gotten something that is a MacGuffin. Yes, we desperately needed that. So, can I take the money? In your wildest dreams. Aww. Am I finally going to bum a ride out of here with you, or what? I'm at your service, but I don't intend to fly on an empty stomach. Well, how convenient. Because... We have this blue fruit. For this gift of fruit, my heart goes out to you. It's just and like so in King's Quest V when we give them meat. Have now earned your the eagle will fly to another land. Well, take us. Yay, <laughs> that looks weird. <laughs> oh, Quickthorpe. Oh, it's a lizard guard. Whoa there, boy. Where are you going? I don't know. What is this strange land of purple haze? What is this strange land of purple haze? Druggy? Oh my. We're standing at the frontier of the land of mists. This is the domain of Angor, the snake demon. 
and pray tell who are you. Angor the Snake Demon. Oh god. I'm a famous ornithologist from the University of Balkan. I'm a famous ornithologist from the University of Balkan. Right, and I'm Bo Did Lee, professor of rap. Tell me who you really are and what you're up to. I'm uh, just flown in on an eagle. My name's Quickthorpe. I've just flown in on an eagle. <laughs> That's a great way to start any conversation. Sounds like fun. What can I do for you? You know anything? Hmm, what's that tower? Can you tell me what's in the tower behind you? That's top secret. I got strict orders, see. No one gets in, and nothing comes out. Cool. Do you know where I can find Angor the Snake Demon? I'm not at liberty to tell things like that. But I've got this friend who comes by on occasion. In fact, I haven't seen him in weeks. He gets around a lot more than I do. You should ask him. Okay. Yes, I see. Well, you just keep up the good job and I'll be moving along. I don't think we need to go there yet. Let's go to the swamp path. Cool. But this is interesting. Oh. The mountains are the only safe place to be, high up within the walls of the ancient city. But even there, there are no guarantees. Hmm. There is something there. There are a lot of strange plants in this swamp. Under the bridge lies a poisoned possum. Oh. Not very good for the digestion. It's dead. It's a rotten, stinking, dead possum. And we're gonna take it. Do I have to? It's slimy and it stinks. Well, why not? It's kind of cute. It's dead. And it's poisonous. I don't know how much of a good idea that is. Picking mushrooms and berries, thank you. See you later, alligator. He's not an alligator, but we can... It's a dead possum. Do you like this possum? Would you like a soggy possum? <laughs> Would you like a soggy possum? Well, I normally wouldn't while on duty, but that's an offer I can refuse. Everybody likes soggy possum. Mm-mm. An offer you can't refuse. my appreciation, I'd like to give you this useless hearing aid in return. Oh, useless? Thanks a lot. I can't wait to try it out. So, it's not really useless. It's the Lizard Guard's hearing device. Upon examining the strange hearing aid, Quickfork discovers some smelly green plugs. So it really had, like, little wax it plugs. It smells like wax from the Lizard Guard's ear. Ew. Why would Quickthorpe want to do that? I'm not interested in your junk. It was from you, weirdo. <laughs> well, let's keep going to the swamp path. I can't hear a thing. Oh my lord! Well, I declare, child. You sure know what's good for you. Are those alligator now, boobies? Still, and Jemima's gonna make you feel all Jemima? Right. Oh god. You have syrup. And you're playing your bongos. <laughs> oh Jesus god, this is terrible. Oh god. <clears throat> well, I want your drums. Quickthorpe now owns his first musical instrument. It's too bad he's got no rhythm. <laughs> I ain't got no rhythm. Shame he doesn't have any. <laughs> that looks very ominous. A big spider makes a big web. Anything crawling out of that hole has got to be big. Oh god, oh gee many That's god. That's a big friggin' spider and I'm not getting any closer to her. <laughs> That's a big friggin' spider. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? 
<laughs> okay, that's it. She does not want any new friends. Nope. She does not want any new friends. I wonder if you can use a tambourine on it. I don't wonder if that'll work. <laughs> oh, God. If you keep hearing me clicking, I'm looking back and forth at the... at the chat. Oh, hi, Aher21. What's happening, Aher21? I see you in chat. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't even remember what I was doing. <laughs> Way to go, Aher. You come in on the chat, and the next thing you know, you got me all screwed up. I'm blaming you. <clears throat> ah, I bet I know what to do. This probably makes annoying noise. Let's see if she likes some Muzak. <laughs> Muzak, would she like some Yaz flute? I bet Aher 21 would like some Yaz flute. That should keep it down in that hole. <laughs> About to go to lunch. Oh, that's right, you're at work, aren't you? Or whatever lunch would be on your work schedule. <laughs> there is a 30 second delay, by the way, so I won't see it right away. You're, I don't know if you knew that about Twitch. Okay, so that person's gone. Well, Aher21, if you want to stay here while you're on your lunch break, I would be glad to have you because I'm only playing for a, another 20 minutes or so. And I'm giving the ghost up for today. I'm mostly doing a let's play on here and because I knew nobody would know anything about this game. <laughs> I've wanted to play it for years and it's so much easier to record with this thing I've decided to do it this way. Second lunch? Mmm. Where's third and fourth lunch? Is there a third and fourth lunch? How about a fifth? Okay, now let's get a move on here. Let's take a look at this guy. He's quite dead. I wonder if that's the lizard guard's friend. Or at least what's left of him. Well, that doesn't look like a... Well, maybe it is. Let's examine it. Wow, there's a small gold key attached to those bones. Wow! Now, i just got to figure out what this key's supposed to open. Well, it doesn't matter because... We now have that key, and we can... That doesn't do anything. I don't want to... No. No. So much no. Ah, oh, you're going to go visit with the wife. Sounds like fun. And just when people showed up... Oh, see ya. Have a good time. Thanks for stopping by. This will be in the uh, third video, by the way, if you actually look at it, Acre 21. So, let's see here. This little guy... I thought I told you to keep away. You've told me lots of things, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to listen. Uh, music can tame the savage beast. So let's use the hypnotic drum with, and see what happens. You go! And down he went. <laughs> there I go. That doesn't do anything. Shut up. That doesn't do anything. Can we use the tower door? I'm walking right past him. The door's locked. It may be locked, but I bet we have the key. It's a small gold key. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Really? That doesn't do anything? I would expect it to have done something. Well, you know what? I'm going to search this, this guy and see if that has something. You go away. He's out cold. I better act quick. Well, I want to take it. This spear might come in handy along the way. The wooden tower is firmly guarded. Raskar has strict orders from his boss, the snake demon, to not let anyone in or anything out. He's out cold. I better act quick. I should do something while he's not looking. You mean like take the key? Just like taking candy from a baby. Well, let's try this key with this door. There we go. This looks nice. We haven't saved in a while. That would probably be a good thing to do. <laughs> you're back for a couple. It, you're exactly right. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Oh. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's save the game. 
and doesn't do anything. Oh, it doesn't give you very much room. So we'll put doesn't do anything. DDA. What looks like the monster from the sixth synth, the lizard man? How long ago did you send that text that said, I'm watching you on Twitch? <laughs> because I've been talking to you for some time, and it just went through. Where I got this new phone, it might be going so I don't know. Let's see here. And anytime you want to come and you can't do something, you can come on Twitch and talk. That's just the same as you being here. Let's see. Gotta think of what to do. Let's see what they got in here. A cage in the far corner of the room is glowing with a warm light. Ugh. Hmm, I wonder what's in that flask. The flask cannot be used this Even an empty flask could come in handy. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Yikes! Just where I responded. Yeah, it's um... Probably a little new. Okay. What's behind the curtain? I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really need. Well... I don't see anything special about it. It's all handwritten and there are no pictures in it. No pictures? Oh God, no! You won't notice this book is missing. Nope, nobody at all. No one will ever notice it's gone. Yeah, there's um, there's another person watching that's not on my list. Uh, mine doesn't count. So, yeah, there was six yesterday. It's just it's too early, and there's a a lot of my people watch somebody else, and I won't be taking things away from him, particularly playing an adventure game nobody knows. <laughs> so, tis the way it is. That's how you start on Twitch. Yes, hand jive, exactly. Go away, inventory. Ooh. Pointy. Stabby. Axe hanging on the wall. Mine. This axe will definitely come in handy. How do you know that it's going to come in handy is what I want to know. Now, we do have that gold key. Take that and use it. Oh God, it's a creepy fairy. I don't. Oh, oh never mind. At last, it's been so long since I've been cooped up in that cage. I'm just aching all over. <laughs> Dear me, my manners are simply awful. Better than come in the hand. Yet, yeah, well, he might get some come in the hand now. How can you ever repay me? Uh, you sure are pretty. <laughs> you sure are pretty, whatever you are. I am pretty. Well, you're pretty cute yourself. Ooh. What's your name? Sexy McSex Pants. My name's Quickthorpe. I've come from the Frozen Lands to find the lost jewels of Balkan. Quickthorpe, I am simply charmed to make your acquaintance. Ah, uh, so long, honey. <laughs> How about we get more comfortable? Not so fast, big guy. I've just gotten out of my cage. Oh, well, I guess he's not. He's gonna have to come in the hand because he ain't gonna get any in her. What hurt. are you doing in that cage? I was locked up in there, you silly. <laughs> Don Johnson. <laughs> I've been in that cage ever since that horrible snake demon decided that I was dangerous. Oh, she was dangerous, AR21. Does she look dangerous to you? Why has he done such a bad thing? Because he is evil. Pure evil, like all those other horrible demons ruling over these lost lands. Oh, my dear, my dear Quickthorpe, if only you knew the danger you and your people are in. Oh, uh, the danger? Uh, sorry, I've been looking at your breasts. But I do, that's why I'm on this journey to take back the jewels from those beasts who stole them from our people. Yeah, I would agree, looks like Princess Leia. And I'm gonna kill those beasts if it's the last thing I do. Damn it! They're to blame for the way things are. 
My dear Quickthorpe, the beasts which you speak of are not the ones truly responsible for what has happened to your people. Uh-oh, it's the twist. The true legend goes far back to the ancient times when the Mecubars ruled this world. What a twist! The Mecubars, who are they? And what is that supposed to mean, the true legend? I don't know. I've already found the emerald after killing the ice giant of the frozen lands. Is that not proof enough? <laughs> nope. Sure isn't. You must right. be very careful with this emerald. It must not fall into the wrong hands. If my suspicions are correct, there's someone else even more dangerous than you can imagine behind all of this. I can only hope that you will not fall into the same trap as the others did. But what others are you talking about? Mm. I am speaking of the very same beast that you must now destroy. <laughs> what a twist! But there is an even greater one who will destroy- So you're telling me things aren't looking so good for me? No, that they're not. Little quick, Thorpe, your life is probably going to end. There is still a chance. I want you to take this powder. It will help you and protect you. Mm. Use the powder wisely. And don't forget to mix it well. Yes, it does, Aher21. It does get recorded for YouTube. That's why I'm doing this this way. In case new people see me on here, it's a win-win situation recording this way now. In the high Zion will have something that is very important to you and the destiny of your people. Awesome. I don't feel like talking to anyone or anything right now. I don't feel like talking to the attractive lady. So we should have got... It's the flask you took from the Lizard Guard's tower. We... Did we get it? Where... No, go back in. Well... An old blanket. Okay, there it is. I was like, where's the powder we're supposed to be getting? Yeah, I wouldn't be doing this right now if I, if I wasn't doing it for that. Because I'm recording at a time where a lot of people that would come watch me can't. So, that's why. Ooh, vases or vases, woo. A small collection of vases has been placed by the circular platform. It's a jar. It looks like <gasps> the squirrels have been busy. Nuts! Mmm, delicious, hard nuts. I'll just help myself to one of these nuts. You do that. A small collection of vases has been placed... I'd rather look around a bit more. I bet you would, because there's only one in particular he actually wants. Quickthorpe takes the vase filled with water. It just makes me wonder, look how much shit he has. Okay, we've got... Actually, if I'm, I'm going to move this over here. Look how much stuff he has. That's a lot. <laughs> and it's all in his pants. And he's not wearing real but like, that much stuff anyway. So it's kind of like, where are you keeping this stuff? He doesn't have, like, the uh, back of the little pouch like Hermione has that like everything fits Air 21 if you're still there does this look like like the demented Robin Williams genie from Aladdin now except now he has big lips oh god hold on there little guy nobody gets past the mighty Titan oh that just makes me miss Robin Williams I'm looking for some old man can you tell me how to find an old man named Izion? I wish this game would have had some popularity. <laughs> yes! Everybody! Let's see you try that again. It would be my pleasure. He just blew on me. Well, he's a titan. I don't trust that guy's smile. I don't either. So we need to make a concoction here. So... Oh! 
Hey, if you ever heard the one about the one, and you feel the round, oh, I miss Robin Williams. He was so funny. It just reminds me of Peppy going. I'm watching Robin Williams. He's funny. Ho. Oh. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to kill this guy. And get rid of him. Okay, so I'm sure water and chemicals will go so well together. Inventory, come back. Yoink. And that's not even gonna phase him. I'll need some heavy. That's not even gonna phase him. I'll need some heavier hmm. artillery that's than what this. What you're supposed to do. Very thirsty now. Does it just say it's all got just the water in it? I'm not very thirsty now. Oh, it does. It's Iris's magic powder. Mama, no wonder Iris told me to be careful with this bloody stuff. <laughs> oh Lord have mercy! <laughs> uh, yes. Well the Revenge of the Titans is over. He is long dead. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> that was pretty freaking funny. He just went... <laughs> That's exactly what happened right there. He He's dead. <coughs> okay. Okay. I didn't know that was the right way to do that, but apparently that was. <laughs> Hooray! The are open. Oh, it's a gargoyle. Probably should save. That guy's missing a leg. I like how the game options is you masturbating to your butt. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, the Titan of Ether is now very crispy. Hey, beggar. A fine day to you, sir. Fine day, my oh my god. How'd you like a kick in yours? <laughs> my <laughs> blistering <laughs> bottom? Why, thank you. Yes, I would love to be kicked in the butt. Oh, buzz off, you old fart. Why, thank you. Yes, I would. <laughs> would you like another? Yes. If I had a leg to kick you with, I'll send you straight to Timbuktu. <laughs> Whose boat Who's is that? Whose boat is that back there? That's me boat sitting at the docks. At least it was before I was forced into retirement. Till I lost my leg to gangrene now all I've got and diabetes. Sailor stories and some stupid gargoyles are picking and a feeding at what's left of me. Well, you just have a really gamey leg. I'd like to hear one of your stories. I'd like to hear one of your stories. I really wouldn't, but sure. See ya. You would, would you? Well, what's in it for me? You're always welcome turn? to come back. I'll have to think about that one. Well, in all seriousness here. Let's go this way. And inventory. Remember you said this axe would come in handy. And it did. What is that chain doing? Why does it keep wanting me to use the axe? I don't think that's a good idea. Yep, it's a bottle, all right. <laughs> it's a bottle. Good. Well, I like bottles, so let's take it. I feel like a klepto taking all these things. <laughs> you feel... <laughs> I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really need. Money in the hay, this is my lucky day. I can see six gold pieces. You can never have enough money. How true. You can never not have enough money. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that makes things easier now that we have some money and another bottle that we kleptoed. The gates are in we go. Okay. And let's go in here. Let's take the door. 
Okay, go in. Thank you. Oh, it's the person we were looking for. Use axe. <laughs> It's a nice place you have here. It's a nice place you got here, sir. Oh, so you're one of those people. Well, I don't think that's sir, a good idea. I have a book. Quickthorpe should respect his Quickthorpe should I found this book in the same tower where Iris was held prisoner. Let's see here. Oh my god, look at those eyes. Enchanted evening. That is like the look of a rapist right book. there. Going, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Up the butt. If that isn't proof, I don't know what is. Thank you, Quickthorpe. Iris told me about your mission and has asked me to help you. Please, take this ancient key. It's the only thing I have left from the time of the Mikubars. Okay. Guard this key during your quest, for the jewels that you'll seek must be properly placed into it. Makes sense. This key and its jewels are the only future for the people of Balkhain. And you, Quickthorpe, are their only chance for that future. When you have reclaimed the fourth jewel, you will then know what you must do. By the way, you might as well take this old key. I've no idea what it's for, uh, but it could be useful. Okay. Have you seen a sexy fairy in a cape? Have you seen a sexy fairy in a cape? Young man, I don't carry that kind of trash. Oh. You shouldn't speak about Iris in that way. Yeah. Is it Iris you're talking about? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, she flew in here not long ago. You must be the boy she was telling me about. That's right. My name is Quickthorpe. Quickthorpe, is it? That's quite a special name for a special person. Uh, Iris has asked me to give you something I've been keeping here for many years. Ooh. I can't wait to see it. What is it? <laughs> Not I'm until so I'm excited. sure you're the man. What kind of books do well, you Well, I gave book? him that book, and I wonder if I shouldn't have done I'll that have... in that order, and I think I screwed it up. So, oops. So let's go back here. We gotta do some backtracking. Actually, we really don't. I can go ahead and do the this. Gates are open. So, yeah. I could just go on in and peek around. You could. You seen a sexy? Have you seen a sexy young? You should that. have you missed that's right. Quick I would come not into And now let's give him the book. I don't think that's a good idea. Quickthorpe should respect it. I found this book. Let's see. If that is then please guard this this key and its jewels are the only and you, Quickthorpe, are there when you have reclaimed the fourth jewel. By the way, you might as well. Okay, so I got both keys now. This place is filled with books. It's too bad I don't know how to read real good. Or talk real well. I should ask permission first. This place is filled with books. It's too bad. There's another desk for anyone who wishes to spend the rest of their life in the library. I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really need. I'm sure. Okay, I'm looking at it. So what about it? Those sweet in particular are my favorite ones in the whole library. Those with in those with in particular are my please by all means help yourself. So what did I just pick up then? It's the book of runes I've always had. It's the book from Ision's library. A closer look reveals nothing more of interest. I don't think that's a good idea. So we got a book that it was his favorite book. Well you were you're back already? I'm getting okay. What? That was fast. I'm looking at a ladder. There is a ladder for anyone wanting to take books from the upper shelves. This place is filled with books. This place is filled with books. I should ask permission first. I should ask permission. I, I, I should ask permission first. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back out here and get what I missed. 
You weren't here when I did this. You can see me use the axe. I can do some real damage with this axe. And we're going to. Okay. Nope. Money in the hay. This is my lucky day. And it rhymes. See that is no way to you. You can never have enough money. Air twenty one. You'll probably like this. I feel like a klepto <laughs> taking all these things. I feel like a klepto taking all of these things. <clears throat> all right, back in. Okay. Let's look at the perch. Uh, the town perch? It looks like the gargoyle's actually chained to his perch. Well, that's not good. Eat turds and die, you lousy bird. I didn't want to kill him. Take the town I really perch. couldn't be bothered. He gave us key. It's the key that Isaiah gave you. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, now it was, because if it wasn't a good idea, you wouldn't have just done it. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. I'll bet those doors are made of pure polyurethane. It, polyurethane doors? That's a new one. Never really heard of a polyurethane door. What? Angor the snake demon. I'm here to take you out and stomp on your skull, you no good rotten snake. You're the more oh my! Child who says he's going to make mince meat out of me? I sure I am. I bet you don't even know what mince meat looks like. I don't. Sure I do. My this guy's easy to kill. Mince meat pie every Sunday. <laughs> mince meat pie every Sunday. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. But that's he finger licking good. Ow, my leg. You mean with my hypnotic drum? But how do you know about that? He also probably knows we have no rhythm. Silly mortal. Angor sees all and knows all things in the lands of mists. Rats. <laughs> Maybe I should duck out of here until I figured out how to waste this slime. Well, it's not very hard, actually. I don't think that's a good idea. I do, because I know that's what you do. Lorp! <laughs> that's all you do. He's dead. Angor, the great snake demon, is now a shriveled piece of foul-smelling meat. Yep, he's dead. A couple of more jewels like this one, and you'll be set for life. <laughs> The hard part of this job is going to be when I have to hand these jewels over to some old coot when I've done all the work. I would agree with that. That is the, like the most let down part of the whole thing is you're doing all the work, you're picking up all these awesome diamonds and you're going to have to give them away. <laughs> I've got rhythm, I've got music, I've got my gal who could ask for anything more, who could ask for anything more. I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really need. He aggravates me when he does that. Oh, oh dear. Showman. You should know better than to come barging in my house without knocking. Eh, uh, uh, whatever. Nice looking kids. Nice looking kids you've got. Flattery will get you nowhere with me. You're mean. I should think not. By the way, is that the old beggar's leg you're eating? <laughs> the old bed. It was. Now it's smoked jerky. Would you care to have a chill? No thanks. I was rather thinking of returning it to him. That would be a nice gesture on your part. Why don't you come here and take it? Probably a bad on idea. Thoughts, I'll let you keep it. 
Too bad you don't know what you're missing. Take that. Nothing beats taking candy from a baby to brighten your day, is there? Nope. It's better than ripping the leg off of an old beggar. I can't argue with you there. <laughs> so we took candy from a baby because he took the leg from him. A fine day to you, sir. Fine day. Whose boat is that? That's me boat sitting out. I did this earlier. Gee, sounds awful. You could get me back my leg from those bloody man-eaters. Tried that, didn't work. Now get out of here before I plug you. You're so nice. Good lord. <laughs> okay, let's go back in here. We haven't done everything just yet. He has a leg up on life. That's not exactly what I had in mind. I really couldn't be bothered. I, I can't take the snake deal. I almost didn't see this money hiding back here. What the heck? I can always use the cash. Those poor suckers, that's a heck of a way to die. Those poor suckers, that's always a heck of a way to die. Always look on the bright side of life. Do -do. I keep my distance. Do -do 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 -do. When life's a piece of shit. I don't see anything else of interest. <laughs> What looks tasty? His leg looked tasty? <laughs> okay. I've never seen a boat like that before. Oh, we have a cabin boy and a captain. Oh, dear God. Stay away from the cabin board, Quick Thorpe. That's bad. That I am, mate. Welcome on board. Hey man, what's happening? I think this. <laughs> or you're, you're gonna be sick. You just got here. Can you take me to the engulfed fortress? I can take you just about anywhere, but if you're asking me to fly over the Scanter Range, forget it. Oh. I just got back from that cursed place. Got eye centered and left eye and dry on the snow caps. I lost my entire crew except for this easy cabin boy. <laughs> you think this ship's seaworthy? Do you think that this ship is seaworthy? She's seaworthy, airworthy, you name it, she's worthy, all right. Sex worthy. You know? The engulfed fortress might be fun to visit. Yeah, I think it'd be a ball for everyone involved. But that's on the other side of the Skanker Range. There ain't no way I'm crossing that again. Hold on a minute. I know the roundabout way of getting there. Figuring there's some pretty rough seas you're under. It's gonna cost you about, let's see here, uh, yep. Fifteen gold pieces should do the fare. Er, uh, excuse me a sec. What in tarnation are you gawking at? Uh, get back to work. He just whelped the cabin boy. I'll just walk to Mickey D's. The service is better and it's definitely cheaper. Oh my god. There was a McDonald's joke in this game. The skanker range, yeah. I cannot believe that there is a legitimate McDonald's quote in this game. Well, let's talk to the poor little cabin boy. That was a pretty mean thing he did, smacking you on the head like that. Don't mind him. He's not oh bad. my Jesus God! It's easy to get around once you know how absent-minded he is. Ugh. Can you rewrite those fares? Can you rewrite those fares in the captain's book? The captain would sure get mad if he ever found out. I bet he would. I wish I could talk you into changing the fares in the captain's book. I'm open to any suggestions. I have to go back to work now. Okay, well, solution here is nasty gargoyle sucker. It's a sticky lollipop. Would you like to have a lollipop? Everybody would like to have a lollipop. Thanks a lot. No one's ever given me a lollipop before. Your teeth say otherwise. By the way, I already changed the price in the captain's log for you. Yes, shameless plug for the Mickey D's. I wish every time I said McDonald's, cash would like literally magically appear in my pockets. Mmm, so McDonald's. So all you have to pay is eight gold pieces. Awesome, we have that. So let's go talk to him. You mentioned a roundabout way of we did. We'll have to go. I think I can manage it. I think I can manage that. 
Okay, so we have... These are the gold pieces you found in the gatekeeper's shack. Like 12? Son, you just sport yourself there we go. one way trap <laughs> to the engulfed mm, Hey kid, mm, would you like my lollipop? Not that lollipop! I see as well you give me a bit too many gold pieces, but I do appreciate What did you just put? Oh, God. <laughs> well, we've beaten two of the four places. Here we are, boy. According to the gyro thingamajig, we're spot on. Destination engulfed fortress. Is that all this kid does? But we're in the middle of the ocean. That's right, and your Emerald Fortress is somewhere at the bottom. He kind of looks like Hulk Hogan, I don't know you why. You mean the Engulfed Fortress? Right, mate. It's somewhere well, down Well, the below. Engulfed Fortress is engulfed by water. It's quite simple, actually. All you've got to do is jump <laughs> what overboard did twist? and let gravity do its work. Jump overboard and drown. How ever breathe underwater? My job was to get you here. The rest is your problem. Now, if you don't mind, I've got some work to do. Well, I didn't know ships had doors. This one does. That is not on my list of things to do. Let's go in. Hi, parchment. There's a piece of parchment with some mysterious writing. It might contain some useful secrets to blackmail the captain with. Take it. Quickthorpe takes the magic parchment. Quickthorpe takes the stuff. In a well-lighted corner of the cabin stands a funky little dresser. Funky. There's a bunch of jewels in the drawer. Holy crap! I don't know if we should take those. He might kill us. You know what? Screw it. We're taking the jewels. This will piss off the captain in a big way. But that's his problem. Well, so... F socks? Oh lord. A pair of smelly socks are lying oh, on the bed. And they're 80s socks at that. We definitely want those. Hey, wee, I can barely stand the smell of myself now. <laughs> well, we had a dead poisonous possum earlier. Among other things. It's the old hairpin under the pillow trick. I must say, I didn't expect this from the captain. If not for any other reason, Quickthorpe takes the hairpin just to embarrass the captain. Well, that was nice of him. Okay, let's see. So we have this... Bending open this hairpin is a brilliant idea. Was it? I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Aww. Maybe it's filled with incredible objects from the far seas. Maybe it's... I can't get it open. Well, I tried. Hmm. There's a small box hiding just behind the chest. Let's try that. Damn, Will that work? I'm good. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Uh, 96 cussing. <laughs> yes, Quick Thorpe could rub a quick one off in here and just um, really embarrass the captain. Stone, you can do just about anything or absolutely nothing, but a spell would help. Quick Thorpe quickly rubs one out on the captain's bed. I'll take it anyway, just in case. We have, like, literally stolen, like, everything from this guy. <laughs> I have a strong feeling that's probably bad. Well, let's go. Hey, buddy. I, like, stole all your stuff. Hope you don't care. The hatch is now open. The hatch is all... I really couldn't be... I know you couldn't be bothered, Quickthorpe. I know. This must be how they get the hot air to power the ship. A clue! A clue! Doom, 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 doom. We just figured out Blue's Clues because we're not real smart. Doom, 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 doom. I don't even want to know what's in there. I wouldn't touch that sack with a ten-foot pole. I'll pass on that Aww. one, thank you. I don't even want to know what's in there. He doesn't like sacks. I barely noticed the handle on this hatch. Whatever that is, it looks toxic. It's quite goopy. It looks more like toxic gunk. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't think we can do anything with that just yet. Anything in the barrel? Fish in the barrel? Mm. Good meat to eat. Mmm, meat. This raw steak has been sitting here for a while. That means it's perfectly good. If I do. 
Anytime you leave meat rotting for a long time period, that could not be bad at all. It's the raw steak chop you took from the barrel in the ship's... It's the captain's smelly socks. The captain's socks smell so rotten they could be a lethal weapon. That's probably a clue telling us that they could be used as a... It's not very appetizing. Eh, but now we have a meat sock. Mm. Everyone loves a good meat sock. <laughs> okay. Probably should save. Ooh, there's a shark. Dear me, there's a shark in the water. This could pose a serious problem. It could. Here, take my meat. Incredibly enough, it would seem that the shark has just died from <laughs> horrible food poisoning. The shark has died from the terrible smell of his sock. Yes, his tube of meat has killed him. The tube meat has killed the shark. <laughs> oh, God. It's the magic stone you found in the captain's cabin. Well, I think it did what it was supposed to do. We're supposed to swallow that stone. It kind of didn't really say anything about it. So I'm going to assume that we did. Because it's not in the inventory anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, where is that stupid parchment? It's the parchment that was found into the brim. Tea the rim you stop. And your lungs all bung. Brim you'll like spill in your lungs. Gill. Bungs like a fish's gill. Look, he's dead! Now that the shark is dead, you don't mind jumping in. <laughs> I didn't even see that. <laughs> He twitched. See him twitching. And we went in the water. Uh, hi there, seahorses. Oh god. There he is, guys. He's touched down already. Let's see if he's okay. Uh oh lord. Are you alright, my friend? No broken bones. Long Dong. Long Dong Silver's the name. It feels like I broke my head. Do you feel dizzy with a pounding sensation between the ears? Yes. Yes, that's it. Except you forgot to mention the thousand ice picks in the brain sensation, too. Okay. See you for good, Ahir21. Don't worry about that. It's probably the pressure you're under. You're in it quite deep, you know. Of course. Then there's the fact that you're not well adapted to this place, if you know what I mean. Appreciate your concern. I really appreciate your concern. Don't get me wrong. Most of us are friendly once you get to know us. It's just that we don't take kindly to strangers down here. Ah. I'm not looking for any trouble, but I've got some important things to do. You look like a sensible fellow. Go back where Tell me where to find the engulfed fortress. That's an easy one. It's dead ahead. You can't miss it. I don't feel like talking. Okay, well, that didn't go right. We have to get kelp. And unfortunately, we didn't get it. They're supposed to come back. I have not seen them. Oh, there they are. You're still here, I see. Yes. Okay, now... I was actually hoping to see you guys again. 
Same here. It's oh, there we go. Down here is a sign of goodwill. Thank you. That's the nicest thing it's anybody's ever given me. Anybody's ever given me. Take it. I'm tired of carrying it. Fair enough. <sighs> Let's go to the edge of the abyss. You oh, Mr. You are you help me you oh Mr. You are you help me you are you are you help me you Oh my oh, lord Mr. it's moving so fast you are you help me you oh Mr. You are you help me you oh Mr. You are you help me you oh you are help me please I'm stuck here on this rock You, oh, Mr. You, are oh, you, help me, you, oh, you, are oh, you, help, oh, you, are oh, you, big, hunky toy boy. Oh, no, this isn't a trick. this isn't a trick. You silly boy. Tricks are for kids. Tricks are for kids. Do I look like a kid Not to you? Not rabbits. I can't say what you look like, really, but you sure look good. <laughs> and that's what I'm here for. To be good to you. That is, if you've got what it takes to step onto this rock with me. I'd rather take a bath in acid. I'd rather take a bath in acid. Okay, so... We got that dagger way it's back at the beginning of the game. I don't think that's a good idea. Cool, there's something inside this shell. We want that. This pearl is going to feel nice. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Oysters are quite rare. Oyster oysters are oysters are quite rare at the bottom well, of the Okay, I guess we only get one. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the seaweed forest. Ooh, it's a okay, hidden path. I'm looking at it. So what about it? We're gonna walk through it. Get off the nut. Okay, I'm looking at it. Hmm. Well, I guess that got us there. It's core. In the old days, core was a great fish god. Over the last few hundred years, he's been <laughs> well, that happens over the years. Sector god. Well, let's see what's here. This oyster's got a pearl in it. We're going Quick to be taking that then. The lovely pearl. Oop, there's another one down here. There's nothing in here. Hmm. What about this one? I don't think that's I don't think that's a good idea. There's a pearl in this oyster shell. And then we're gonna take it. I'll just help I'll just myself, help thank you. 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 Woohoo! So can we talk to him? Will he kill us? The road stops here for you, stranger. Oh. Hello there, Flipper. Hello, Aquaman. Hello there, Aquaman. My name's Quickthorpe. I am Kor, guardian of the sea. 
or at least I was a long time ago. Now I'm just an ordinary sector guard on minimum wage. That sucks. Try to imagine how fantastically little I care. Try to imagine how fantastically little I care. <laughs> I hate this job. <laughs> oh lord. This is pretty hilarious for a game that didn't get much reception over here. And if it did, I never had heard of it. Let's go to the shell. Let's go, Quickthorpe. The shell. The shell. Oh. William the gardener. William is a cranky old crab, but he's quite a nice fellow when you're on his good side. Hi, Mr. Crab. That's quite a nice pad you got. Thanks, but I'm just a hired claw. I do the gardening and various sanitary services. Cool. This luxurious private garden estate actually belongs to Master Pearlman Cowpot. Ooh, Master Pearlman, huh? Might if I stroll around? If I just stroll around? Be my guest. Just watch where you're stepping. Okay. Yes, may I help you? Hi, Mr. Capit. There you go. Can I use your bathroom? Could I interest you in some pearls? Please come in. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Okay. Master Kalpa keeps a large private aquarium in his back bedroom. I don't know why it really keeps me wanting to use this knife, but it does. That doesn't do anything. I like. There we go. There's nothing of interest in this box. I wonder what he keeps in there. I don't know. Would you be interested in my pearls? Would you be interested in my pearls? I'm very interested in pearls. What have you got to show me? Let me just check my pockets. Let me just check my... Let me just get in my pants for you. You've got three nice pearls. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, well, what have we here? Pearls. This is quite a rare find. I've been searching all my life for three identical pearls. I guess they are pretty identical, but they're quite lovely. Indeed. I was going to give them as a pearl necklace to my girlfriend. She has big knockers. Oh well, there goes that idea. Not to mention the favors I would have gotten in return. Of the sexual nature. Don't you worry. Wait till you see what I'm going to give you. I don't want sexual favors from you. You won't even remember you had a girlfriend. And I don't want you doing it. Cool, what is it? It's the only map in existence to the legendary lost treasure of King Thut. Oh, it's Thut. King Thut. Wow, thanks a million. I can't wait to go and hunt for it. I still wish I had sex with my girlfriend. You see? You've completely forgotten about her already. Forgotten about who? <laughs> exactly. It's a cozy place you've got here. Yes, it is quite homely, isn't it? This is my favorite place to just sit around and relax. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I still have to talk to him. What's up with not the now? Yeah, okay. Oh, he won't let me. Okay, I tried. You know what? He likes things and stuff. Is this the kill? I'm supposed to do that for like a thing of generosity. Forget it, kid. Burying this wouldn't be a good idea. Thanks, but I'm just the iron floor. If you got something you burying this wouldn't be a good idea. Hmm. Oh well. He just might be too busy for it right now. I know he wants it. I know he does. Okay, I'm looking at it. We're going this way.
Oh. Hey, Leroy. Excuse me, but could you tell me where I might find the engulfed fortress? <laughs> I haven't eaten all day, and I'm in no mood Oh, to he's the one that wants I thought you gave it to the other one. And I'm not giving anyone directions. Now bugger off. I Aww. don't want to be rude, but I, I just, just want to know what to do. Tell me where I am. Get lost, you lousy piece of driftwood. I like how they made him Mexican. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Now this is a nice thing you've gonna done, giving me this cat. Ah, I agree. So do something for me. I'm really touched. I'd like you to have my favorite shovel. It was like a shovel to me. Does this mean I can keep it forever and ever? And ever and ever. That's right. It's yours to have. Now stop getting mushy on me or I'll change my mind. I will use my claws on your penis. Okie dokie. So we have a pretty nice little shovel now. But you have to make sure you take it. <laughs> this could come in handy in the future. Hey, there's an oyster shell here. I wonder if it's it... the bent hairpin from the captain's pillow. Where's my dagger? It's the knife that I don't think that's a good idea. Bummer. There's no pearl in it. Oh, rats! There's nothing. Well, we got that. So let's go back to here. We need. Look at the treasure map. It's a map of a completely unheard of legendary treasure that was presumably buried in the sea a long time ago. The black X marks the spot where the le the black X marks the spot. The sand looks quite soft around here. Ooh. Well, I would assume since it allows us to do that. After hours of furious digging, <laughs> Quickthorpe strikes something hard in the ground and pulls... I'll bet some pirate buried this treasure chest down here hundreds of years ago. Quickthorpe is not... I really couldn't be bothered. You couldn't be bothered with taking that? Good thing we have that. Burying this would... Excellent jackpot! <laughs> he did I a little we jig. say that unlimited bar credit will be in order when I get back. That's right. Quickthorpe is now filthy rich. In fact, the legendary treasure of King Thunt is estimated to be approximately priceless. Well, that's good, if it's priceless. Well, now that we got the treasure, I think I'm going to stop the stream and this Let's Play for today. Uh, so this has been SaxCat20, and as always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. So stay tuned when we come back. Uh, we'll be doing more Fable in the next stream, and those of you watching on YouTube, stay tuned for the next episode have this so let's take this treasure to those of you watching on YouTube welcome back thanks for watching I will t I'm gonna say as always I hate this inventory system it's a pain in the butt Go through the hidden hidden path there. Let's go. Here we go. So we can go to the coral path. Alright, now what you gotta do here, since he's a big dummy down there, give him this treasure. If you keep like trying to use it, he'll just kill you. <laughs> so don't use it. Just give it to him. I found that out the hard way. Core, I want you to have this treasure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm picking my nose. <laughs> I have a feeling I won't it's have any use for it where I'm going. And he's gone, so... Let's take a look. Core's helmet is lying on the sandy bottom. Mine. Oh well. oh well. I always was a slave to fashion. Sure you work with This beer is totally cool. And we're going to totally take it. Just in case it. I get into a jam with my pants down. Alright, now let's go over here. Up we go. It's kind You'll of fun, see actually. in a video later of what I didn't do. Wow, I'm back up here now.
This planet is really connected and screwed up. <laughs> oh well, I'll just have to make the best of it. It's really connected and all screwed up all in one. That's pretty funny. Sorry about that. Ooh, rubbing my eyes. Whew. I'm going to tell you, um, when I went through this the first time, I didn't do what you were supposed to do and messed up. There's, you have to come back up here and several things through this don't tell you about that. You have to come back and get a blanket. And did my phone just go off this late? No. Okay, so I've got to figure out exactly. All right, we'll go back. Uh -huh. Should have got this when we were here the first time, but I didn't. Well, good to see he's still asleep. That hypnotism sure did a good job. I really couldn't. I really, I really couldn't be bothered. Rascal's bed is untidy and not very clean. That right An there. old blanket is lying on the floor. I kind of like this old blanket. He could really have done with a dusting once in a while. This place is disgusting. Yeah, if I would have got that in the first place, we wouldn't have the problem now. But it is what it is. A long, a long winding mountain path leads up to the gates so of the off ancient we go. city. And I want to tell you, if you don't get that and you go down into the shadow place, you're screwed. You're done. It's over. Ding fries are done. I mean, it is absolutely the end. Down we go again. Indeed. Now we can go this way and go into the catacombs maze like the of the game, to so to speak. Except this one is nothing like any of the other games. If you're used to King's Quest and all their mazes and traps, this is nothing like it at all. This is really easy, actually, compared to them. First thing we have to do is go get a crowbar. And then we can go to the enemy. So let's look at the crowbar here. Hey, kitty. Look, a crowbar. Indeed. Now it's yeah, mine. Yeah, I've got the power. I love the little quotes of this. It's like, I got the power. And it always just reminds me, and I hate to do it because it's overdone, but it's the, you've got the touch, you've got the power, yeah! That song, I don't know how many of you even remember that, from the Transformers 80s movie. It's like, you're at the best when going gets rough, you've been put to the test, but it's never enough. Okay, now we can use the crowbar. It's the crowbar you found in the tunnel. That did the trick. Sure did. Now, if you talk to this person, they're going to kill you. So, the best thing to do here is just use the spear and use it on the cosmic window. And kill him. Because Quickthorpe is a callous murderer. The sapphire must be used with the gold key. Ho oh, hum, three down and one to go. I just love how he, at this point, no longer cares. I wonder what this highly sophisticated switch mechanism is used for. Well, we're going to use it. Doesn't do. This switch must be controlling something in the exterior. It does. It controls the uh, thing we were just on. Hence, hence why you have to have that wool blanket. It's one of the many openings connecting a... Because if you don't have it... <laughs> then you're screwed, so go figure. I was really pissed when I found that out. It's one of the many openings. Yes, I know. And one thing that I don't like is when you're in front of the door, and since it doesn't give you the easy option for walking, just let me do it. 
Like, it always puts it on look. I don't want to look. I want to walk. But it is what it is. Okay. Now we can go down. And go into the final area in the game. Oh boy. It stopped moving. It's Route, Route 666. 666. I like the way that sounds. Kind of evil. Current population 5. Welcome to the land of shadows. Well, they're definitely not having a population explosion down there. Nope. Okay, so let's use the blanket and somehow not die. Oh, that sure is something. I hear screaming or something. It's a strange looking gate. This whole area is strange looking. <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Oh god. Uh definitely not the candy man. What about the boogeyman? The boogeyman. Please enter. Well that works. Gonna give him my real name. <laughs> like I was gonna it's give him my real name. Gate. Looky here, bull. There's oh, a new kid here. in town. Let's be nice and show him to his room. Okay. Well, we got kidnapped. Quickthorpe surreptitiously takes the cup. <laughs> sure, why not? A spoon. I Now, all I have to do is find another spoon, and I could play She'll Be Coming Round the Mountain, just like Grandpa. Well, unlike Grandpa, we're not going to. Quickthorpe takes the plastic plate. There's something weird about that part of the floor, or we're experiencing major perspective problems here. Ugh. At least they've got mail service down here. <laughs> the four unmentioned infidel has been found guilty of trespassing the lost city for no good reason whatsoever and is hereby sentenced to life imprisonment. The four unmentioned infidel has been found guilty of... Quickthorpe takes the note with charges. Just look at these losers. I can't believe anyone would let themselves go to hell like this. Well, I don't think they intentionally did, Quickthorpe. I'd say, uh, a lot of that was, um... <gasps> oh my god, I just reloaded. Oh my god! Well, yep. Yep. I think we can all agree that I am now filthy rich. Yep. Okay, I'm looking at it. Okay, I'm looking at it. <sighs> oh my god, I had to do that. See, now if this was a Let's Play I'd normally do, I would stop it. Go back and you'd never know of my stupidity. Or at least if you did know about it, it would be very quickly. But now you get to see it in its full-blown annoyingness. When I do something stupid. The true value of King Thuck's treasure. Cannot believe I did that. Core, I have a How's the blah, 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 just in case. It looks like there's an. I'll have to go inside. That's not exactly what I. See, so like the feet. Look how long it took to get to the freaking feet. All I wanted to do was walk. Quickthorpe does not know how to walk. Up we go. Wow, I'm back up. <laughs> At least it's not taking very long. Let's go back to the comatose lizard guy. I think it's funny that he is just clearly still unconscious. 
I don't feel cold right now. Well, we're still taking it, so hush. Fun game, but ugh, in like, there's lots of things I like about it, and there's lots of things I don't at the same time. Um, I like the story and the smarmy comments and everything else, but I do not like the point-and-click interface in this Down game we as much as many other games I've played in the past. <clears throat> and we have a lot of inventory and not real clear use of it, and then you might forget something, and it's still old. And, well, it's not old. I mean, as old. This was made in 96, and it still has dead ends built in. Which, you know, nowadays they don't even do that anymore. But, whatever. I'm not even sure we're going the right way. Okay, I am. Good. Yeah. I was busy complaining, so... <laughs> next thing you know, uh, who knows where I'm at. could be worse it could have been I could have been stuck all the way back at that part of the game then I probably would have quit and never played it again if you've ever wondered where some of my LPs went in the past that is probably a good um, idea of where it went aka something happened pissed me off that and I quit. Trick. I don't think that's a good because that tends to happen hey there buddy bye bye that doesn't do yes it does shut up He's dead. He's gone. I want this. Ho hum, three down. <laughs> Ho hum. So easy. I'm done. This switch must be controlling something in the. Ex did I do it? I hope I did. Okay. It's one of the many openings connecting a sieve. It is. It's one of the many openings. It's one of the many open Oh my god. Did you know this is one of the many openings inside the cave? I didn't know. But let's get out of here. And let's use this. <laughs> and get and get back where we were. Well, we've only lost three minutes so far of with backtracking. So it could have been worse. It stopped moving. Okay. Yeah, you're right. He does look a lot like uh, Roger Wilco. <laughs> Indeed he does. Kind of as nerdy. Knock, knock. Well, Over back there. to hell we go. The boogeyman. Please enter. I'm British. Please enter. I'm not really British. I can't act. <laughs> Looky here, bull. Okay, so we're back where we were now. Let's be nice and show him to his room. So let's pick that up. Quick thought takes the note with charges. Quick thought surreptitious. Now all I have to do is find another. Quick thought takes the plastic. Okay, so we should have it all again. There's something weird about that part of the floor, or we're experiencing... I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, if I can click down... It's the crowbar you found in the tunnel. Which it wouldn't let me. I don't think that's a good idea. I do. <laughs> oh, hey there, buddy. I've come to free you. Hmm. He's not responding. Can you hear me? I said you're free. Still nothing. Wake up, I say. You're saved. You can go home. I don't get it. He's either deaf, dumb, or dead. Oh! He looks like he's up now. 
Come to free you. My name's Thorpe. I've come to free you. At last, after all these years, my prayers have been answered. I'm free. I'm free. Nope. <laughs> well, he's dead. Poor old guy. He's finally kicked the bucket. Well, I hope it. There's a key in his pocket. The home? I've got the key. Let's hope it's the one to the door. Why would that would be horrible? They give you your way to freedom and you just can't you can't do it. God that would suck. Okay. At least this time we didn't go all the way back. Because I made a grieve a grievous error. Grievous. Whatever. So that's good. Let's go back to our cell. I don't think that's a good idea. You never do. I don't think that's a close look reveals nothing. Oh my god, can I just... not Okay, thank you. Let's look at our door. It's the only door in this prison cell. I don't think that's a good idea. I didn't want the spoon in the first place. That doesn't do anything at all. They put in a brand new lock, but it uses the same old key. These guards are operating at a very high level. They are. What's up, man? I have one of your official ID cards? Could I have one of your official ID cards? Shucks, I forgot mine this morning. Do you have yours, Bull? Why, yes, I do. Here you go, pal. But please don't look at my picture. It's mighty embarrassing. <laughs> I'm looking a bit overweight. Photos always add about five pounds, you know. They sure no do. I command you to take me to your leader. That ain't gonna work. Sorry, but we're not to leave our post. <laughs> Can you tell me where to find him? Dear me, just look at the time. I didn't see it. Our coffee break is nearly over. Isn't it, Bull? Why, yes, Bill. Can you please tell me where I am? Hell. You're here with us in the land of shadows. Do you have any other silly questions? No. Quickthorpe can't take the prison door. Quickthorpe is not able to do that. I don't see anything else. I guess we'll go this way. Why did I do that? It's the door to one of the prison. Yeah, the one we were in. Oh, there we are. Well, that spear could come in handy again. <laughs> there we go. If I can figure out where to walk to. This ancient river is filled with molten lava flowing from the pits of the fire demon. There it is. <laughs> That's another thing I don't like. Hard to get where you need to go. Just get me where I need to go. Not so hard to ask. <laughs> you must be sweating like a pig. You must be sweating like a pig under that robe. You get used to it after a while. It's the prisoners I feel sorry for. It's like an oven in those cells. He sounds like Boris from Quest for Glory 4. Let him suffer is what I say. Speaking of prisoners, I've come down looking for one that's escaped. Why haven't the guards sounded the alarm? Because they're really stupid. Good question. They must be on coffee break again. That's typical of those idiots. Not to worry, though. No one can escape this hellhole. Well, we are in kind of a hellhole. I don't think that's a good idea. It never is. This kryptonite is great stuff. Can't even feel the heat on my hands. 
<laughs> okay, so let's go back to our inventory. Take the ID card and give it to him. I don't recall ever seeing you here before. You must be one of the new guard recruits. Okay, you can pass. Thank you. Let me go. It's the only safe way to it's the only safe way to get across. That worked. <laughs> okay. What You're is that? Not one of my gods. What are you doing down here? Nerding. Just a routine inspection. Just a routine inspection. I'll be on my way. That worked. Of course, this is the guy we have to kill. So, in Zelda CDI fashion, you know, you throw the one random thing on him and you burn him alive. Ooh, God, that. Ooh. The catacombs are where all spare body parts and detached pieces are stored. Well, I think he's dead. <laughs> well, there it is. There it is, the ruby in all its fiery splendor. Yoink. I should take all these stones and do a runner. Who's ever gonna know? Nah, I'm the <laughs> hero, and heroes are honest. That doesn't do anything. Does it not? Okay. Let's look in the empty catacomb. That's curious. It seems that one of these catacombs is empty. That doesn't do anything. And use it. Well, that's nifty. That kind of did what we needed. <clears throat> I bet you the platform's gonna work now, though, even though it wouldn't work earlier. Of course not. He constantly maneuvers the switch to the on position. Way to go, Quickthorpe. That doesn't do anything. Quickthorpe can't take the elevator platform. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Oh my god. That is beyond the range of quick that is beyond that is beyond that is not on my list of things to do. Why not? Why can't I go up? What's the problem? Why can't I walk? Because I'm holding something. This is literally that's why I couldn't, because I was holding the cup. It wouldn't let me walk. <laughs> oh god, this game. No, it is not a Pokemon stream. I don't see Pokemon anywhere on here. Gag me. This is certainly not Pokemon. Quickthorpe is not wanting to be the best there ever was. He's wanting to like save his, to his, his, his land, even though he could have taken all the gems for himself, which is what I would have done. Alrighty then. Oh, the maze. You can play Pokemon if you want. I'm not gonna stop you. It's not Obama's fault that you can't play Pokemon. Okay, now we need in the, uh, good save. Okay. Put that in this there. This key must go in something or some place. This fits perfectly. 
it does indeed. Take that. This key must go in some this fit in there. perfectly. Take that. Why did I do that? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Oops. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, I know I have to do it this way. This key must go in this fit. There you go. Be picky game, please. And then the first I gem we got a good idea. the game. This key must go in this fits perfectly. Okay. Remember Quickthorpe, this key is the future of your It is, and it's gonna be used right here. Not much, <laughs> just Okay. Trying to finish now this game supposed to the next 15 minutes or so. Okay, let's go through the door. Zero gravity chairs, awesome. I just love pressing buttons to see what happens. What's that noise? <laughs> I just love pressing buttons. That doesn't do anything. Where are you going? I don't think that's a good idea. I said use the button. Quickthorpe is not able to do that. Quickthorpe is not able to do that. Quickthorpe is not able to do that. I'd rather save the pocket space for things I'll really... I don't see anything else of interest. Why can't you use the button? I think you've already used the button. There you go. Have fun. Oh god. Look, they're forcing him to play uh, the that Octavus Rift or whatever, so that okay, so he can play Pokemon. Oh, what is happening? Apparently, he knows what to do now. <laughs> Go figure. Hey, it's the guy we could have gone and talked to, but I didn't. Well, he's pissed. And... dead. I think. There's smoke coming out of him. He's either really mad at me or we fried his ass. <laughs> they won't let him in. And it's Big Jugs McGee. With her jiggling breasts. Now they finally let him in. And I guess they just had quite a... Well, that's an insinuation of sex. That's a terrible ending. Some random guy gets fried. And we have sex with our gigantic, large-breasted girlfriend. The end. Did we save the world? Uh, who knows? Is it gonna tell us? <gasps> Probably not. Well, that ending suck balls. I'm glad this only took one night to completely beat this game. Now I see why nobody ever played it when it came out. Had some good humor, and that's about it. Uh, you uh, came in at a poor time. <laughs> I'm going to be ending the stream pretty soon. As soon as the credits roll, we are done with today's stream. I've streamed probably 30, two and a half hours total today. So, I'm about done. But you need to come back next time I do something. I'll probably do something tomorrow night. I'm not going to do it very long. I'm probably going to get on about 11.30 tomorrow night and play something really short. Not a lot of people tonight. Everybody's over in Corn Shack screaming for the people that watch my stuff. Which I don't blame them. And most of them basically are like, well, we can just watch it on YouTube anyway, which that is also true, because that's basically what I'm using it for now is to record YouTube videos too. But 
appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> I guess I'm going to rate this game now. And I'm going to rate it as like uh, a 6 out of 10 just because some of it sucks ass. Well, I'm glad you did. Just come back more often. I'll be doing it. At least, even when school starts back up, I'll probably stream on Sundays. But, um, 6 out of 10 would be good. And the only reason I'm giving it that is because I like the jokes and the funniness of the game. And Quickthorpe's witty humor. The ending and the interface and the dead ends can't drop it that low. But, would I recommend you playing it on your own once? Yes. Would I ever recommend you playing it again? No. So this has been SaxCat20, and as always, I hope you have enjoyed, and stay tuned for whatever Let's Play or stream may be coming your way next.